Okay, Mr. Deadman here. Earlier I did a video about Elon Musk uh, being canceled, and I briefly went through some things. Of course, my kids needed my help. That's what's happening here with the lockdown stuff, right? But let me, let me add more to this, what's happening here. So Elon Musk, someone that was regarded someone, uh, very highly, someone who is, uh, you could say is a genius, right? He retweeted uh, something that was talking about Dr. Birx on TV, on CNN, said that they're marking deaths. If it could be a heart attack, it could be a kidney failure. But if you die in the hospital and if you have COVID in your system, they're counting it as a COVID-19 death. What does that sound like to you? A lie? Malpractice? Fudging the numbers? Because they're going to try to say the heart attack you suffered is somehow related to COVID-19 because you had it in your system. But can they prove that? Do they know that? No, they do not. That's not science. That's making shit up. That's making crap up. That's, that's the opposite of science. You're just making crap up at that point. Um, yes, e there's a lot of people trying to take Elon Musk to task. And it's hilarious because they're absolute failures. They think they have a hot take. They think they have something, but they don't. Elon Musk retweeted this the caption, classifying all deaths as corona, even if corona didn't cause the death, is simply a lie. And it is. There is no rebuttal to that. But we can look at some attempts. And someone else, Austin, uh, opened the economy. Peterson just spoke to my local hospital administrators this morning who confirmed that a COVID-19 positive test is not required to report it as a coronavirus related. And that is also true. That is also happening. Okay. And you got people with smart takes, try to be like this, try to use Elon's words against them. If one day my words are against science, choose science. Um, that's not even his quote, but, you know, trying, people are trying to use that against them. And he talked about the old God, the economy stuff. Um, to do uh, about this one, flatten the curve. Nice try, Musk. Too bad there's a thing caught excess deaths for each jurisdiction. A model is used to generate a set expected count. Okay, right? There's a model, but just because you have a model doesn't mean you just like mark. What does it have to do with anything? What does it have to do with? So someone goes to the hospital, they have COVID. They go to the hospital because they have COVID. Maybe they're complaining of chest or lung, whatever, and then they have a heart attack or they have a stroke. How, what, what, what? <laughs> How's that related to COVID? It's like someone getting or having diabetes, getting in a car wreck, dying, uh, going to the hospital and dying of like, I don't know, some complications or whatever, and then saying the death is related to diabetes. Uh, this one here, um, thought crime media. Okay, genius. If the deaths are being misclassified, then why are so many more people dying than average? Um, well, time out there, princess. Uh, if they are being misclassified, it is going to look like more people are dying than average. But now I'm, I don't know what percentage are the misclassifications. We don't know that for sure, right? We just know that there is that pressure. So it could be there. It could be 1%. We don't know, right? And let's go look at the rest of this tweet. In cities all across the country and many countries all over the world, just a coincidence, the total deaths are way and uh, I'm above average everywhere. Well, hold on. Not really. Okay. We were told that these lockdowns were going to help prevent, uh, or we were told that the hospitals were going to be over flooded, that hospitals are going to be overrun, uh, and you're going to need these emergency hospitals. But what's happening is these emergency hospitals across the U.S. and various places are being packed up and sent back because they're not being used, because the hospitals aren't overrun. They're not even at capacity. In some areas, I guess it does look like doom and gloom because there's a lot of death. There's a lot of death in particular areas, okay? Maybe they could stay quarantined. Maybe they could stay locked down at forever, long as they want. But other places, it's like... Guys, like, what's the problem here? 
And that's really the mentality. Some people might go, oh, well, you're, you go out, you're just going to get sick and, and die. The, I mean, there's people who already have antibodies to this. There's people who have it and don't show any symptoms. People who have it, and the virus is not even affecting them in any way whatsoever, showing that they have some immunity to it, some resistance to it. That's good. That's a good thing. How could that be a bad thing? It's like they want to just purge it completely. Uh, good luck on that. Anyway, let's look at these other takes. All right, all right, all right. What, anything else? Uh, oh, uh, Ross Latham. I'm shocked at your sudden disregard for science and professionals. The very people who made you billions. All medical professionals say lockdown. Nope, time out. Not all. Not all. And the ones who say, we don't need a lockdown, y'all dismiss us quacks. See, you listen to the ones that tell you what you want to hear. Social distance, what exactly are your qualifications to say otherwise? He's literally retweeting a video where Dr. Burks literally said they are classifying deaths that are not COVID. They're classifying all deaths as COVID-19 if you have COVID-19 in your system. You could die of a heart attack, kidney failure, maybe a, a liver failure, I don't know. You could bleed out and you have COVID in your system. They'll smell, attribute it to the, to the disease. See what's going on here, man. They are attributing so many other symptoms now to uh, the coronavirus as if, they, as, if, as if it's this magical virus that's doing all these things I would be surprised uh, when the suicide rate goes up, because it will, that they don't contribute suicide to coronavirus. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Anyway, I wanted to talk more about this because I find it funny. People think they have a hot take, a nice rebuttal. I got a gotcha. Got a gotcha, but they don't. They don't. Anyway, what are your thoughts about this? Let me know, and y'all have a good one.